Bonjour, Émilie Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about free books because one person asked me, can you recommend some books? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about my favorite book, my go-to macro book, especially if you're starting photography. And then I'm going to tell you about a great book, especially if you're lacking inspiration. So let's get started. Let's start with my favorite go-to book if you are starting with photography. This is a book written by Brian Peterson and it's called Understanding Exposure because when you're starting with photography, you need to understand the magic triangle. So you need to understand aperture, you need to understand the light and you need to understand the shutter speed. This book is great plenty of information, plenty of photos to help you understand the basic with photography and to get you away from the P mode. The P mode is not professional photographer mode, it's program mode, uh, which is fine, you know, uh, definitely start with P mode and then move out of it by reading this book if you are starting. It really is a fantastic book and um, you also have a chapter on flash photography. I know a few of you had some questions, so highly recommend it. Uh, I got the digital version because I can keep it on my iPad, so I have it with me. Favorite book number two, my favorite go-to macro book. Love this book. I love Don Komarechka. His work is so inspiring. Uh, I got the chance to actually hear him speak when uh, I went to a conference and uh, I follow him on social media. If you are a macro photographer, go and check him out if you don't already know him. Uh, but this is everything you need to know about macro photography. Uh, it was a Kickstarter project and I just bought the book and as a PDF and it's always also on my iPad. It goes through everything you need to know from the type of gear you need for macro photography to the settings to how to do refraction, how to uh, photograph snowflakes. That's his big thing. He does a lot of snowflakes. Uh, it is very impressive, tons and tons of pictures to inspire you. It's very, very well done, very well written. Uh, so I, I really recommend this book if you are a macro photographer. Uh, you're just going to dive into it and not be able to let it go. Book number three, last but not least, it's a book called Still Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, and it's all about unlocking your creativity. It's a very small book. It has, uh, you know, a lot of drawing. It's really, really fun to read in an hour. You know, you'll probably be done, but you will want to go back to this book. I have a few friends who reach out lately saying, what do you do when you're lacking inspiration? What do you do when you feel like you don't want to take your camera and go out? And I recommend uh, this book because it really is, as it says, it's going to unlock your creativity, make you realize that no uh, work is original. There's so much work that has already been done. But the idea is you taking from other work and making it your own and taking it to other level. And um, it's, um, I think it's really a book that all of us should read. Um, so let me know if you've already read it, put it in the comments below. Uh, also, if there are other books that you are, want to recommend, post it in the comments below because we are a community and the idea is we should all share. And uh, I want to add to my reading list because I'll be on vacation soon. So let me know what book should I be reading. I would really appreciate it. And then I hope everybody can go and look in the comments as well and be inspired uh, to pick up one book or two. Now, what am I reading right now? Because I've read those three books already. I'm reading Beaver Land by Leila Philip. And uh, it's all about beaver and the history of the beaver in North America. It's quite interesting. I'm in the middle of it. I I don't know how I feel because there is a lot of um, trapping in it. 
and so that makes me feel a bit sad but it's extremely well written extremely well researched i'll let you know how i like the book uh once i'm done but that's my book right now now i hope this video was helpful and uh, gave you a few ideas of what you could pick up at your local library or at your local bookstore and i'm looking forward to this week's discussion next week i think i'm going to do a video on bracketing and focus stacking and how to set up your camera for bracketing and for focus stacking. I'm going to go a little deeper on those two because a few of you uh, had questions. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. And until then, have a good week. Au revoir.